Hey guys, thank you for tuning back into my channel. My name is Vail Dog and this is my kitchen where I'll be teaching you how to make affordable restaurant quality foods or better from my home to yours. Guys, stay tuned in and let's get cooking. Okay guys, today on the chopping block I'm going to be making you guys a barbecue pork steak in the oven with green beans and potatoes. That's right, green beans out the can. Only thing you're going to do with these green beans is you're going to drain all this juice up out of there and we're going to use chicken broth. Okay, that's what you're going to do. And here's my barbecue sauce, Famous Day barbecue sauce. I have over here like five pieces of bacon chopped up. I have one medium onion right here. I have two cloves of garlic right here chopped up. And I have some, uh, some smoked um liquid smoke rather right here and this liquid smoke is um hickory i have some sazon have some large garlic salt some granulated onion and some black pepper and of course the star of the show is the pork steak Make sure you guys wash your pork steaks off, okay? Let me go ahead and move this out the way. I already opened these cans up, so I'm going to try to be careful with it. All right. Move this out the way as well. All right. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take some of this liquid smoke on one side. It'll get around. Trust me when I tell you. So it's probably about two tablespoons. All right, we're gonna come in with this um, granulated onion powder, which is not open, <laughs> but I have one that's already open. So let me get that one, so, right here. Put about a teaspoon on each one. So a total of a tablespoon for both sides. So a teaspoon per side, okay? <laughs> I know y'all like, huh? What did he say? All right, we're coming in with this garlic salt. Teaspoon. Yeah, let's go with a half a teaspoon. But we don't want our pork steak to be salty, salty. Got our black pepper, half a teaspoon. Just like that. Then we take our sazon. Right. We just gonna rub this on here like this guys. We're gonna flip it like so. Right. Peak this process. So we're going to cook this guys at 400 degrees for about a good half an hour. Well, 45 minutes. We just go with 45 minutes because we got to flip it as well. Okay. That's 
how you should look. All right? I'm gonna put this in the oven, guys. Let this cook. So, here's the potato, guys. I didn't show you guys the potato. This is like about four small ones chopped up, okay? So I'm gonna take you guys over there and start cooking on these green beans. See you guys over there in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. You can see my pot is smoking a little bit. I'm just gonna put a little olive oil in here. Or you can put um, butter in there if you want to. We're gonna come in with our uh, meat. Now what, what we're doing here is we're trying to get some bacon fat and brown these up a little bit. It ain't got to be perfect or nothing like that. And if you guys really, if you guys want like some fresh green beans, you can do that too as well. Uh, there's a lot of people out there, you know, they bash these canned green beans, but uh, guess what? If you know how to cook, you'll make them uh, taste good. Mine's always taste good. I ain't gonna lie to you. So, just try this recipe out. You be the judge. That's right. Because it's mushy just because you're cooking them too long. They already done, right? So only thing we want to get done is them potatoes first. All right, we just gonna come in here with our onions. So we're getting our grease. We're gonna come in here with our garlic. All that stuff is burning at the bottom. All this stuff gonna come up and pour our liquid in there. It's gonna make it taste that much better. Take the chicken broth. So you 
start seeing, seeing the rise up. I got it right up in there. We're just gonna let that cook, guys. Now, if you wanna put you a little um, black pepper in there, you can. Sorry about my phone. Season salt and some onion powder. About a teaspoon of this. I'm gonna let that cook, guys, till it's done. See you guys in a minute. Okay guys, you've been cooking for a while. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some of this barbecue sauce on here. And I, I'm, 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 I'm gonna probably broil these. So I do one side at a time. You can just pour it on there, really. I'm trying to get an even coat. What I'll be trying to do. Sorry if you guys hear a bunch of noise and stuff. You already know my situation with the neighbors, so I do apologize. It seems like it always happens when I'm recording. <laughs> so help me please make some money so I can get the heck up out of here. So we're just gonna broil these guys for about two minutes. Then we flip it over and do it again. All right, see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, I am finally done. And everything looks pretty good and tastes good too. So this is how it looks. See if I can get this over here, I'm making all the noise over here. Oh, the barbecue pork steaks and the green beans and potatoes with some uh, toast on the side right there okay so, yep that's how we looking guys and I'm gonna throw down on this bad boy because I'm hungry <laughs> so anyway guys if you like this video please give me a like a share and please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to. That's right. Hit that bell. So you too can be notified next time I upload another delicious recipe. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. In Dog's Kitchen. I'm out.